Remember a few months ago I got a Rio Shack multimeter that I thought I would like? Well, guess what? It didn't do my needs. Well, well it didn't, didn't do what I needed, so I had to return it. And this was a few months ago, so I had some time to think about what I wanted, and I found what I wanted. I hope. <laughs> because this looked, this checks capacitance, which is important to me because I fix computer monitors. So, yeah, that's why I got this one. Yeah, well, I should say that. I also got some of something else I'm not going to put in the video because it's kind of fucking pointless. <laughs> you ain't gonna see my address because there's a protection plan thing on address on here, so fuck off. Yeah, so that's done. So, yeah, let's get on with this. You see, it, the meter is 44 bucks. It, it's about probably about 46, 47 bucks after taxes, maybe. And then, yeah, though, I got the one year protection plan for seven bucks. Once again, me, it's seven bucks versus basically 45. Yeah, take your pick if it breaks. And then, yeah, I also had a $10 coupon on it, so which brought it down to about 34 bucks. If you don't count the fact that I bought a Molex power adapter for a computer at the Optiplex 380 over there. So yeah, cut that out of the equation. This was about 34 bucks plus whatever the price of the protection plan was. Uh, so it's about 40 bucks I paid for this whole thing in general because of that protection plan. And apparently I got a $10 coupon or something. I don't know. I'll look at that. I'll check my email later off because that's what I think I have to do. So well, let's go into this. Well, before I do this, this is an unboxing video, and that is it. This is nothing else. So if you don't want to see an unboxing video, turn the video off now. Don't dislike it because I didn't warn you. Because I did, and you had the time to turn it off already. So let's get this open. Now, I will say some things about it. Is Yeah, I've heard these things aren't the best, which is part of the reason why I got the protection plan. But I could very well be wrong on that. But I, I hear the new revisions are cheaped out slightly. So, yeah, the warranty is just a protection just in case that rumor is true. And it's as bad as it, I think it's going to be. So we got the manual here in English and Spanish, apparently. Apparently this English side got crushed by the Spanish side. Don't make racist jokes in the comments, please. Thank you. Here you got the test leads. Now, fortunately, these are industry standard test leads, which is a big deal for me because if these go bad, the last one I had, they were built into the meter. So if they broke, I'd have to basically replace the meter or, or make it a fucking bitch to fix the meter. So having replaceable meat leads is important to me. So my cat chews on it or something, then I don't have to worry about it. And then that's it for anything in the box. Yes, that's it. Go away, box. And here's the multimeter. Yeah. This one is also true RMS, apparently. So that kind of justifies the higher price for this one compared to my other one I had. But then again, the other one can check capacitance, which was a deal breaker for me because I have to fix monitors around here. So let's install the batteries and get this going. Yeah, I had this in my pocket ahead of time, so I, no magic effects because it's not worth my time to make them. This goes here. And this goes here. Yeah. Oh, and another piece of advice I I hear these were made I hear these are manufactured by EX Tech. So I don't know if, I can't confirm that for sure though. So don't ask for confirmation on that, please. This is a private label one. Alright, so 
Yeah, we'll test the accuracy on video here. Which, if you watch the video, this is the end of the unboxing. So, I'll put an annotation for those who want to skip the unboxing and be done with it. Yeah, we'll get my laptop power brick over here so I can test. So I can figure out how to use this. So I can figure out how to use this little thing. My power brick's plugged in. My notebook, or one of my laptops. Are you fucking kidding? <sighs> Apparently they put caps on these now, supposedly. <laughs> I'd never seen that before. So that's the first for me. So let's check the pin on my laptop. How is the I have here? Oh, doesn't say apparently. No, well, it's just... Just do this then. Oh, I gotta take the film off this thing. What is it doing? That's, that's crazy, apparently. Yeah, so... Yeah, so. so this is about 20 volts ish. It doesn't seem to be too off, which is always good. So, hold on, I'll go get a capacitor and test its capacitance, and yeah, and then we'll be done with it. I'll see if it works when I need it to. Yeah, I'll be right back then. All right. Part two, I found a capacitor floating around here. This is a generic from a, I don't know, power supply or something. So it'll work for this thing. It's a cheap ass capacitor and I don't really care about it. So let's see if it checks when I need it to. And so it's really checking the remaining voltage, which is the important part of this because I'm gonna go inside the monitor. You have to make sure the voltages are dead. There's no voltage in it. So yeah, you need to check the you need to Yeah, you need to check the voltages, which is why I got this one. This has been sitting so long it, it takes a charge just by being tested. So yeah, this does why you need it to. And I think this one will work because I got it so cheap. Yeah, it's true. It's true. True RMS, which the other ones I was looking at weren't. So that gives this one advantage that kind of justified my decision. So, yeah, I'm gonna go put this all away because of the warranty, which I think, which I don't think I got gypped on for seven bucks. So yeah, that's it for the video. Hopefully this was actually useful, even though this was mostly an unboxing and I don't know, one or two quick tests for accuracy maybe. <laughs> yeah, I didn't put a fall off on there, I just did. Okay.